Hey, get back here. So, some pretty big changes are coming to Madden Ultimate Team 21 in the next week or so. They said that's when it's launching. Um, I want to go through the ability point and ability point changes. Um, basically, you know Madden you know, Ultimate Team and Madden in general, the gameplay is decided a lot of times by abilities, right? Players play well with abilities. They don't play as well without them. Um, guys can do certain things with abilities, like they can throw the ball into tight coverage with gunslinger set feet lead they can make diving plays with acrobat they can do a lot of things that are supernatural in talent with abilities and they decided to change it which i think is a good idea right i actually think so i went through the list went through it myself they're adding new abilities too i, I went through it and i'm like you know what ea actually did a really good job i feel like they listened to us really well on these changes and they updated it and uh there's only like two things that i'm gonna um talk about here that i'm kind of a little disappointed with I'll just hit him off the bat. I, I don't think Gunslinger should have went up, but since they're increasing the amount of AP on both sides of the ball, I'm okay with it, I guess. I mean, since really nothing, a whole lot changes. Um, we'll go into further that when we get to the Gunslinger changes. And then one step ahead, I also think should have been increased to four. Um, I don't know about bench press, how good it is anymore. I haven't run it since it's nerf, um, since it took that huge nerf bat, um, the second nerf of it. Um, so... Maybe that'll be an issue going forward. Maybe I should try it out in some games. One step and uh, bench press. Maybe just like two guys on the outside just locking down receivers. And, you know, you're out of the play. Now you got, you got three receivers now. Try and make some plays. That will be the defense going forward. And I, I'll talk about the defense, what I think the meta shifts to with these changes. So they got some superstar abilities. All right, four more abilities added to Mutt. Now these things have been in Madden, um, but they haven't been added to Mutt. And they haven't added all the Madden abilities into my, they haven't gotten like the pass commit one, the run commit one. Um, I don't know where those are, but anyways, backlash tacklers will get a fatigue penalty for the non-conservative tackle on a ball carrier with this ability equipped. So like if you try and truck, if you try and hit stick Derrick Henry, right, you should really have an issue with you, right? Robert Spillane on the Steelers tried to do that same thing. He met Henry in the hole, boom, he stopped him. But oh, did Spillane pay a pretty dear price right there, and he had to leave the game after that hit stick. So it makes sense on somebody like that size that it's very hard to hit stick them. And if you do, you're going to get a, a, a severe p fatigue penalty since there are no injuries in Mutt. It makes sense to me. I actually kind of like this one. 2 AP pretty much takes it onto the spot though where it's basically unusable, right? And Madden Ultimate Team, okay, say say I hit stick you with my you know middle linebacker or Isaiah Simmons. Say I hit that, okay? And Isaiah Simmons fatigue for a couple plays. Who's going to come and replace Isaiah Simmons on my roster? It's going to be Troy Palomalu, Jamal Adams, Taylor Mays. So it's not like there's that big of a step down for it because, you know, if I lose one of the top ones, I also have backups that are very, that'll play very similarly to Isaiah Simmons. So two AP, I feel like it's too much for this, but I guess we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, what ends up happening if, if people still throw hit sticks at uh, the, the ball carrier with that. So it is also a physical wide receiver. I, I just think... This, it, it feels like they overcosted it, maybe because they're they're nervous about it. I don't know. I mean, they game tested it. I have not tested it yet. It's a 4 AP ability for elusive halfbacks, so basically unusable. And then utility fullback, fullbacks have it too. Um, so it just it, it's kind of cool. A fatigue penalty. I like I like the thought process behind it. It makes sense to me. Um, I just worry that's a little bit too high in the AP cost, and people won't really equip it. Recuperation. We'll have quicker fatigue recovery. Um, it's a tier two ability for all archetypes. I like it. I'm here for it. Uh, put one AP to keep a guy in the game and uh, you know dedicate a resource to making sure this guy stays in the field like my point about backups being as effective as the starters in mutt a lot of times if you don't have good backups then you can have this guy if you really want to keep your you know Elvin Kamara your Randy Moss on the field this is good for like uh, if some if bench press somehow does come back recuperation might be the way of countering it so one AP for all archetypes I really like that I like that it's one AP too. Like, am I? Am, and the thing is, like, with the AP right now, what I what I was talking about this in another video and on stream is like, I wish they go up to like you know something like thirty AP and then increase every you know if, if the AP is gonna multiply by three, increase every ability by three times. But then the the ones that are really trash, right? Like the clutch, the homer, the indoor baller, keep those back down to one because one AP for those trash abilities is way too low. So mm, maybe next year. To bring some more balance, to see some more variety online, they can go into more of a, uh, 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 what the hell, like, you know, piece, how, how, would I, I don't even know how to explain that, is there a word for that, there probably is, but my boomer brain just can't think of it, more, more, uh, 
etched out way of doing it. But like, you know, obviously one step ahead would be like, you know, 10 AP at that point. So that that's a way of like showing, you know, what abilities are actually powerful and what abilities like, you know, just add it for the hell of it. Cause I got a spare or AP or something. Honorary Lyman. This is the one that I'm most nervous about. Not trying it at all myself. This one itself brings a lot of fear to my eyes. This is like, you know, you're, you're, it's late night in the woods. You haven't been able to start a fire yet. And then all of a sudden you hear some howls and what you got in front of you, it's a gray wolf. And you know it's not the one in front of you that they gotta be wear that wary of. It's the clever girl off to your right and left that'll get you. So this is the pack of wolves of this new patch coming next week. Honorary lineman, more likely to produce impact blocks against defensive backs. <sighs> Physical wide receivers get it. Now, yikes, right? If wide receivers can put defensive backs on their back, the only issue is, like, if they put him on the back and they move on to the next guy, will the defensive back just get up and then have a free shot of the running back if, if they get up quick enough? Uh, but, like, we know how bad Nasty Streak was for the game, right? When, when we had it on a tight end. When we motioned it out then to a wide receiver. To, like, basically say, all right, here you go. Here's a Nasty Streak-esque type of an ability for something that literally broke the game and made it way worse. I'm nervous, okay? The, the potential here, it's like the fucking Phoenix, Okay? I just hope it stays under control. Please, Gene Gray, we need you. Keep it under control. As a tier three ability for blocking tight ends, I have no idea why physical wide receivers, it's cheaper two AP than blocking tight ends and blocking fullbacks. Fullback could be fullback could be a real problem there. That could be nasty because they're always getting impact blocks on dudes. But it, it's you know sometimes they're been against defensive ends or linebackers and they won't really hit defensive backs. So I wonder if a safety sub to that linebacker counts as a DB or a safety for this. Hopefully it counts as a DB because that would make a little bit more sense for why you should run linebackers there. A little game balance, although I hate the run game, so maybe that's a bad idea. We'll produce more ball care. Deflator. We'll produce more ball care fatigue when using non-conservative tackles. So you got to really, you just got to hit stick them, right? You got to bring your zone safety. Okay, so it's 3 AP for zone safeties, but all the run support stuff is going to be 2 AP. Uh, run support safeties. What Which ones would get that? Because that seems super powerful to fatigue somebody to keep them out for a play. But like I said, the backups is the problem. All right, program archetype. Let's bring you over. Run support safety. Chancellor. Harrison Smith's not not that great. Buddha's very good. Taylor Mays. Adams. Yeah, okay. We got a few, we got a few big ones. That might be a, might be a problem. Run support safety. I, I wish the run support safety would go up to 3 AP, but then there's really no reason for that archetype. So I guess it's fine at 2 AP. We'll see how good the flader is. More ball carry fatigue when using non-conservative tackles. Yeah, get your hit stick on, man. 90 hit power. Woo! Uh, and then, then, then the AP adjustments, man. I talked about this before about the balance of the game. So those are new ones. This is basically like, hey, what's too powerful? You're raising the AP limit from 10 to 12. So even though something might be going up, you know, it's kind of staying steady because uh, the raising AP limit. Um, and we'll see. Double or nothing, I think there's a great change. Plus one AP across all archetypes. I love it. Double or nothing, it's intentionally very, it's unintentionally very good. Double or nothing was not supposed to trigger for the CPU, but it did and it does. And it was discovered, I think, by Mr. Golden Sports. That's the first time I heard it. So shout out to him for discovering that double or nothing. Uh, but yeah, plus one AP across all archetypes. Acrobat raised plus one AP to all non-CB archetypes. So acrobat on CBs can can get the one AP, but like safeties are now at the two AP. I would have preferred to see it plus one AP on all archetypes. I don't like that CBs still get it for one AP, um, but it makes sense that they're the most athletic guys out there that they should stay with acrobat. But CBs have an acrobat. It's, I mean, you're just, are you just gonna sub in safeties at linebacker and like you know night train lane at safety now? And Deion Sanders already used quite a bit at safety. And he's got a new card today, so I don't know. Uh, escape artist decreased on Scrambler quarterback with 1 AP. I think that's a good change. I think that's definitely okay. Uh, I think Scrambler quarterbacks needed an identity. And I think Escape Artist was it. Escape Artist Fast Break is kind of their identity because they move really fast. So allowing them to get it cheaper is kind of like Gunslinger being cheaper for uh, strong arm archetypes. It makes sense to me. Enforcer decreased all linebackers and CBs by 1 AP. Run stopper middle linebacker and Olbion now set to 1 AP. I mean, that's just, that's just a good change, right? I'm still not going to run any middle linebackers and outside linebackers, but that's just an amazing change right there. 
that helps them increase their uh, uh, strength in the run game. A reason to use them. Like, if I go out in, like, a 4-3 with three enforcer linebackers there, you're going to think separately about, like, trying to trying to dive me on the goal line, right? Because I'm going to get a hit stick, and you're going to go backwards. I think this is phenomenal. I love this change. I like what this is going to do to the game. But uh, the decrease in all, all linebackers and CBs by one AP. I don't know why CBs got here instead of safeties. I don't, I don't know. Do they mean CBs? But maybe they mean DBs? I hope it's DBs. Um, cause CBs wouldn't make sense, but like decreasing on Cam Chancellor would. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe this, maybe this is supposed to be a D instead of a C. Identifier. Decrease field general quarterback, improvised quarterback, and all offensive line archetypes at one AP. So now it's down to one AP for an identifier. Basically it's, it's a must have at that, at that AP cost. Identifier is so powerful. At, at two AP it was good. At one AP, one out of 12 now, I'm going to use that on every single, that's, that's just my builds going forward are going to have identifier. Threat detector, probably a good thing, um, but I think the meta is going to start shifting to a blitz meta. I'll get to why in a little bit. I don't love it. I don't love that I got raised 1 AP, um, but seeing what your opponent is doing is kind of overpowered. So, And, and like the, the, the gamer in me, I'm like, oh, that's kind of trash, but like the game balance side, like, okay, now I know they're going to blitz or not. I can see how their body's aligned, you know, it, it, realistic, are they actually coming for me? But then like, you can kind of see that in game too on the field while you're playing. So I'm I'm actually okay with the change. Threat detector. Um, I don't have any problem with that at all. Jukebox decreased elusive and threat by one AP. Good change. Good change. Decreased evasive and threat obviously by two AP. Great change. I like these. I like this. Now elusive halfbacks. You, there's a reason to run them over receiving halfbacks. I like that they're they're, they're leaning into archetypes. Like um, let me let me switch over. This guy himself, Magnus, he's done some pretty good uh, posts on the uh, Gutfox subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash Gutfox. He talked about archetypes being bullshit. And I like that archetypes, I'm, I'm okay with archetypes when they're used well like this, right? When scrambling quarterbacks now have a, a reason for being a scrambling archetype. When, when there's, when there's cer certain, like, I would say pros and cons to using different ty types of players. I think that's a really good thing. And now that EA's finally seeming like they're leaning into it a little bit more, that they're starting to make run-stopping middle linebackers, run-stopping middle linebackers with the enforcer, I, I like that what they're doing now. I, I you know, there's still major problems. O-line archetypes mean nothing. Um, they, they're all the same AP. But, like, we'll see, right? I think EA's finally listening to us on this stuff. Tight end apprentice, decreased possession tight end by one AP. Huh. I'm running Rich Gann with Howard Master now, so this doesn't affect me. But, like, when I run, like, Vic today... This is going to be kind of a big deal, although it's not going to happen until next week. But still, that's, you know, a 50% reduction in price for a, a, a possession tight end. Which, what are possession tight ends? Who's the best one? Oop, not vertical threat. Possession tight end is, oh, god dang it. Nope. I don't know why I didn't keep it. Um, probably because I messed up. Gronk, Coo oh yeah, so Cooley's now the best tight end in the game, without a doubt. I mean, if you if you if you run a escape artist gunslinger, Cooley's the best. I mean, he's number one. Gronk's not bad either, but Cooley's faster, three speed faster. Thank you. I love that Cooley. Gronk's Gronk's kind of a beast though. I mean, he he's been okay for me. Secure tackler decrease run stopper DT and run stopper DN by one AP. Nobody really runs it. I would have fine. I would have been fine with a one AP reduction across the board. I have not seen anybody run secure tackle this year that was any good at the game. Human joystick now set the 8 AP. So you have 4 AP left over for other things. I still think it's a little high. Maybe set it down to 6 and then see what you got. But like human joystick 8 AP. I mean, I guess with people running like Wildcat and stuff, it's okay. But eh. A little expensive still in my opinion. Playmaker set the 4 AP across all archetypes. And then QB playmaker set the 7 AP. What was it? What is it right now? I think Playmaker is super powerful. It's like one of the most powerful things ever. All right, let's take a look at... Oh, I guess Improviser Quarterbacks would be the one to look at. Does he get... Does Field Generals get Playmaker? No. Yeah, no, it's not on this guy. I gotta go to uh, Improviser. Let me take a look at what it's at currently now. But raising it to 7 AP. Um, Let's go to my Binder. Take a look at it. God, today's going to be such a good day. We'll be live on stream in a, in a couple minutes. 
for uh, the 50. Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, and Michael Vick. All right. Um, improviser, Lamar. All right. View item. Strange that Lamar is an improviser this year. That's that's so strange. Um, QB playmaker is 5 AP. So they upped it by 2 AP for the improviser quarterback. And then playmaker set to 4 AP for wide receivers. You know, it is what it is. I think that's fine. I think playmaker and, like, the supernatural connection between quarterback and wide receiver. Like, you flick a button, all of a sudden the right wide receiver understands you right away to do what you want. I like that it's expensive to do, like, that Charles Xavier type of superpower. So, I'm fine with the changes. Gunslinger, this is the worst one. Raise 1 AP to strong arm quarterbacks, field generals, and scrambler quarterbacks. I don't understand why. I really don't understand why they increased Gunslinger by 1 AP. I mean, we need it to pass. We, we, this is like, along with those, you know, I've talked about this before. This is probably the most disappointing one. I'm not going to get angry about it because they increased the AP level, but I don't know why. They really, they killed Strong Arms, right? They increased it by 100%. Like, let, let that sink in. They increased the price by 100% for Strong Arm quarterbacks. Strong Arm quarterbacks are about to be phased out of the game. They're about to be out because people are going to be running field generals and scramblers. Scrambler just got escape artist uh, buffed. So, like, scramblers stay at the same power level. Field generals lose a little bit of power. But, yeah, strong arms basically get killed. The whole reason to run a strong arm quarterback was that, was that AP. So you can spread it out elsewhere. They don't get escape artist. I'll show you. Favre. Right, down the road. Favre right now is great. Favre right now is Favre who he is IRL. They get escape artists at 90, sorry, 95 overall. They get escape artists, and that's 4 AP. So, so escape, so basically strong arms and um, scrambler quarterbacks would be the same. 6 AP for those two. Protected, conductor, no look that eye, hot rod master, 95, 99 overall, 99, 95 awareness. I don't know. I, I, I think strong arms could still be worth it. Once they get up to the escape artist level, and maybe Hot Route Master, they won't get it for a long time, though. 99 overall. At least, if the Super Bowl MVP is a strong arm, then maybe. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be many months till we see uh, strong arms match the power level of field generals now. Or or, or uh, scrambler. So, I absolutely hate that. I absolutely hate that quite a bit. But, the rest of the changes are solid, so overall, I'll take it. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Call to action. See ya in a bit over on Twitch.